What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another Self-Aware Narcissist Live. I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness. And welcome to just another quick, quick, to the point, straight question and answer session. Questions are going to be on the bottom of the screen. Um, if you don't want your name on the screen, you need to put it into the box. Hey, no name on the screen, please. You know what I mean? That type of stuff right there. So yes, it will be this live will be posted later. If you're watching this live later, stick around. These are going to be short. I'm doing a series of short lives, 30 minutes or less. You mean 30 minutes or less. These lives will be 30 minutes or less. It'll be straight question and answer, rapid fire. Let's get it. You know, let it, let it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Siri over here. Hold on. I got, got a text message. Do, 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 do. I don't like commission. What is she talking about? What is going on, y'all? Love from PIE Canada. Well, Rachel, we'll be we'll be in Toronto, Canada for a live in person meet meetup and workshop in uh, Durham. I mean, in uh, Toronto, Canada, on November the nineteenth. Toronto, Canada, November the nineteenth, y'all. What I'm really going live about right now is the uh, we have a live in person meetup in uh austin texas austin texas is the most is the most is the next one coming up y'all austin texas october 15th austin texas live in person meetup we have a live in person private small q a y'all me ben taylor raw motivations a few other survivors and therapists coaches will all be there answering questions live and in person for a small small group it's like seriously come through y'all Mm -mm -mm. So everyone says, everyone says to leave the narcissist. How do you, you and your wife make it work? Because we make it work by making it work. I go to therapy. I work on myself. She, I think she's also in therapy as well. We've done some marriage counseling and things like that. But everybody tells you to leave the narcissist when all your, your when you've exhausted most of your options. You know what I mean? Most of your options have been exhausted. You don't have any anything left to try. You've tried marriage counseling. You try therapy by yourself. You try listening to them. You try being more submissive. You try literally every single thing, and it hasn't worked. So what's next? What what else do you have to try? You know what I mean? Hey Lee, what's going on? Mm mm mm. Boo boo boo. Ba ba ba. Hi from Guyana. I saw a senior video on TikTok. Help me break up my narc. No contact for a week. Oh, flex on them. Flex on them. Seriously, y'all. But y'all, narc Avengers meet and greet live Q and A. Get registered. Narcavengers.com, October fifteenth, Austin, Texas. Mm -mm -mm. Hi, what's going on? Why do they get off on hurting you? It's almost like it turns them on. Some narcissistic people have a level of sadism in them. They're sadistic. They're sadistic. They could be sociopaths and psychopaths as well. You know what I mean? They could be sociopaths and psychopaths. So watch out for the sadistic narcissist and toxic people. Y'all, they're they are very harmful. They'll hit you and then smile in your face and get get a high from it. You know what I mean? So like, mm, you're crying in front of me. You, you'll start crying in front of them and they'll try to sleep with you. They'll want to turn you around. They'll want to turn you around and cl clap your cheeks. They're like, "Ooh, you're crying right now." Just I know you. Look, I know this is not the right time, but you look real hot right now. Just turn around and. Bend, bend over real quick. Let me, show, let me see something. I'm, 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 let me let me do something for you right now. Thank you, Ashley Scribner. Mm -mm. Do, 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 do. do narcs band together, defend each other? Sometimes they do. If it, if it's beneficial to them, then yeah. Would your wife identify as an empath? Possibly. I don't know if she likes the term empath though, y'all. Scott Jackson, what's going on, homie? Scott Jackson, survivor. One year, no contact right here. A little over one year, no contact. Y'all can't battle like Scott Jackson. I didn't, Scott. I didn't know you had spina bifida, girl. You just, you are a, you are a queen. You are a champion. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for following me everywhere. She's my moderator on a lot of my stuff, y'all. Scott Jackson is awesome. Thank you, Scott Jackson. Wait, like, seriously, Joanna. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jamar says once again, thank you for your videos. You helped me find and begin my therapy. There you go. There you go. See, I love this right here. Grown like grown man shit right here, dog. I love. I appreciate that right there. Grown man stuff. The therapy, look, therapy helps y'all. It can be so therapeutic. <laughs> but seriously, I appreciate this comment more than you understand, man. Seriously. Mm -mm -mm. What of what of you love the narcissist so hard because the narcissist character is hard? Yeah, oh yeah, it is. I'm trauma bonded to Lee's videos. Well, here's uh, a. <laughs> 
if you're having trouble breaking the trauma bond, this, this right here will help you out. The Trauma Bond Recovery Journal on Amazon, this can help you understand how to break the trauma bond right here. <laughs> it's on Amazon. It's written by my friend, Lisa Sunny, stronger than before. She's amazing. Also, this book right here, Love You More by Carrie Carey McAvoy. Super empowering, y'all. Super empowering book. Those are all on there. He refuses to go to therapy. So now what? So now you have a decision to make. If they refuse to go to therapy, that's pretty much them telling you that that's them drawing a line in the sand and daring you to cross it. I'm not going to therapy. Take it or leave it. If you take it and you stay, you can't. What, what more are you expecting of them? They're going to be them. They're not going to change who they are and things like that. You know what I mean? Thailand is in the house. What's going on? My ex narc contacted me after one year of no contact, so he says he's changed and it's different. I've heard this so many times. If you hear it so many times, what makes you, what, you know, he's changed so different. You hear it so many times, beep, turn it off, you know, block it out. You've already, sometimes you get so many people, so many chances or whatever, it hurts them. Rose Matthews, thank you for writing that anonymous right there. In what ways do covert narcissists respond when, when they can tell when you are about to leave? They, so when you're trying to leave a narcissistic person, I just posted a video about this, honestly. Boy, is it going live? Wait, wait, wait. hold on. Uh, so my video about this is going live tomorrow, actually. No, well, how some narcissistic people are are intuitive, and they can sense they can sense when you're about to leave, and then they'll just they'll go no kind they'll start to love bomb you, or they'll become sadistic and violent. Sometimes I mean they'll be passive aggressive, so be be careful. Literally tried out tried it all. When I left, I don't know about narcs. Now I now I know why I left. It was becoming independent and sick of the crowd. There you go, power up, stay power. Welcome, welcome. You new here? You follow me? Cool, nice. Thank you. What if you love the narcissist so much, but it's hard to stay? Who loves you then? If you're loving, typically, if you love them so much, you you end up loving them more than you love yourself. And you end up losing yourself. And then you're going, I'm just telling you this how it ends. This is typically how it ends up. You end up destroyed at the end of the relationship dynamic. You end up destroyed, you end up hurt, and you end up crying and begging and pleading for these people. Don't do that. You can love yourself a little bit more. You don't have, like I said, you can love, and plus, you don't have to hate them to leave them alone. You can love them from a distance. You can love them from across the street. Hey, I still love you, but I just can't have let, allow you access to me anymore. Thanks, though. Love you still. You know, you can love somebody and not and cut off access to you. You know what I mean? England's in the house. We'll be in England next year, y'all. Left after 40 years of narcissist behavior. Dear Lord. See, that's empowering right there. So 40 years. So y'all got, she got 40 years. 40. I'm 37 years old, y'all. She has 40 years and she, and she left. That's empowering. That's super empowering, y'all. Just stay empowered. Seriously. I stayed. And knowing for eight years to have my kids, now she's gone with them telling lies in 200,000, 200,000, what was the last part? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just telling you. What's your take on a self-righteous narcissist? They they exist. <laughs> they do exist. And they use their self-righteousness to think that they're better than you. Mm -mm -mm. My narc contacted me two weeks ago harassing me about you still using the Hulu account. Nothing about his daughter. I'm scared to get a divorce because there will be there will be forced visitations. Stop stop using Hulu account. That's eight dollars. You mean that's nine? That's ten dollars. Don't you know? Just okay. I'll get my Hulu. I'll get my own Hulu. Thanks. Bye. You mean? But you again, there will be forced visitation. You can't force him to be a father. Like they can put it into the count. They can put it into writing that he has weekends or every other weekend. That doesn't mean he's going to come get your daughter. You mean? Scott Jackson, it's the homie again. You're empowering, girl. Seriously, you have an empowering. You have an empowering story. I appreciate you so much. I, I, I appreciate you more than you know. So I get, I get, see, I get chill bucks when I talk about Scott Jackson. I look, those are real chill bucks because I didn't even know she had spina bifida and been dealing with narcissists. That's empowering. So I get chill bucks. You, 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 you inspire me, girl. Stay power. Stay powered up. Mm -mm. He say I'm to blame all the time. Yeah, they deflect stuff to you. You get the blame. You know what I mean? My mom is not a narcissist. How dare you? No, I'm joking. She's not a narcissist. Um, I love my mom. I do. I do. You know, I used to blame my mom for, I used to internally blame my mom 
for picking such a horrible father. You know, my dad is not the best of, of best of fathers. You know, he was present, he was around, but he wasn't a father figure, so to speak. Um, I used to blame my mom for picking such a horrible person. <laughs> you know, but I've released it in the therapy as well. So hope you have it. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Nice guy, covert narcissist. What does that look like? Looks like this guy right here in front of you. It looks just like me. Nice guy. You would people you see me now. Well, people in real life would never ever guess that I was a narcissist, y'all. And I, I know. Let me go ahead and stop y'all right now. Like Lee, I could guess. I could tell. I could tell by your eyes that you're a narcissist. Like your eyes give you away, Lee. Well, what about now? Do my eyes give me away now? Do my eyes give me away now? Can you see the narcissism in my eyes right now? No, you can't. You can never see it because it's not there. But yeah, it, it looks just like me. Fun, friend, fun, friendly. All the other good stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How do I stay no contact after two years? He is bringing our children into the middle of our issues. Uh, what is he doing? Like, how is he bringing the children into? So I feel like your kids are adults now. You say you've been together forty years. I'm assuming y'all have adult kids. This requires a conversation. Don't you? This requires a conversation where you don't necessarily you don't have to bash your ex. You don't have to. Mm -mm. Australia is in the house. I seen Australia. Ali. Been a fan of yours since I learned about narcissism after my ex and I broke up last March saying hi from Perth, Australia. What's going on, man? You're doing well. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, after a big fight, he's like, come here, wanting to touch me. And when I denied him, Lord, he got even more pissed off. He thinks he th he also thinks texting other women is doing nothing wrong because he didn't act on it. Uh, He's going to act on it. This act, this actually the act of doing something if you're texting other women or other men or whatever. I'm just telling you, when they get you all riled up and you're crying and you're screaming and you're begging and you're pleading, I'm just telling you, protect your draws. Keep them draws on because they're going to try to clap your cheeks. I promise you. Just pull it, pull, it, pull it to the side a little bit. You don't have to look. You can just lay there real quick. Just bend up real quick. What's wrong with you? I'm crying and screaming. I know you're hot when you cry. Gotcha. Mm -mm. Do, 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 do. How do you deal with the narc comparing doing normal things like going out to sexual things? Like if you don't give them sex, then he won't go out and then blames you for it. That's the uh, 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 how do you deal with it? I feel like that's not equal. You deal with that. Uh, yeah, sometimes in these relationship dynamics, you got to just stand up for yourself and set boundaries. Like how is that equal? How is that equal? How is clapping cheeks equal to going out? You know what I mean? Going out and having hum human reactions. Uh, He's going to give you a gas lit ass answer too, so be prepared for that. I am now a self aware narc. Any tips on how to be consistent and more awarely? Write stuff down. Write it down. Go to therapy. I don't know, I don't know if you're in therapy, but therapy can help you. Open, honest, vulnerable therapy. You know, be real with yourself. <clears throat> ah, sorry, y'all. Y'all see my new teeth? I, I got crowns now. No more gap. Y'all miss my gap. There's no more gap, y'all. I have, I have got some porcelain crown. I had to go to some mouth surgery. Mm -mm -mm. I love the humor you bring to this. Honestly, I appreciate it. Some of the stuff is funny, y'all. It's not the, the abuse is not funny, but like some of the stuff these narcissists that people say is funny. I send pictures of his child, and he tries to put me down and tell her, "Don't like her clothes or her shoes." Uh, stop sending the pictures, then. The hell with that. You won't get no pictures. Or or <laughs> send pictures. Like with the with the clothes and shoes mixed up, just sitting, just sitting, look from the from the head up. I don't like her hair. I don't like her teeth. You know what I mean? Literally just picked up my phone. What's going on, April Morgan? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Kristen, what's going on? Hope you're having a beautiful day. Thank you for always your videos and speaking the truth. Needed so much for anyone needing further. Look, watch lie to me on you Hulu. Watch lie to me on on your own Hulu account, not the narcissist Hulu account. Mm -mm -mm. The new guy I've been dating for a year offered to go to therapy with me. He's awesome, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Go to therapy. You've been dating for a year. Offer to go to what's go to therapy with you for what? He says you brainwashed the kids. Of course he has. Of course he said that. Makes sense to him. Mm -mm -mm. I think my covert boss is trying to sabotage me in my job. So, doc, so you, as far as work is concerned, you need to start documenting everything. I'm not telling you to record stuff like that, but start documenting your interactions with people like that. Mm -mm -mm. Dating since January and haven't met his mother or his child. Only met the dad's side of the family. 
Uh, mm, they oh damn nine months. Why? Why? I feel like that's long enough. I feel like it takes ninety days to get to know people. I feel like within six months you should meet the family or whatever. But like nine nine months, yikes! That's kind of red flaggy right there. Mm. Thank you. He got married, reached out through text and call. Yeah, name wants to name wants to sleep with you on the side now. My ex seems to be jealous of our kids, the attention I give them. Yes, he's absolutely 100,000% jealous of your children. I've, I've personally been jealous of my own kids. So that's understandable. I, I get where he's coming from, but it doesn't it doesn't justify his behaviors and his outward expression of his jealousy towards your kids. He probably gets mad at you. You mean? So that, that, that does happen. Mm -mm -mm. I wouldn't mind working through the issues, but if he but if he is one that doesn't even have to own oh yeah, you can't you can't work through the issues if somebody doesn't want want to own up to them. Y'all, you can be I don't know, I'm not saying this about you, cold world, but y'all want to be ride or dies so much you end up dying. It's ride or die. It's ride or die. Sometimes you die. Sometimes you ride or die. <laughs> you know what I mean? My ex narc became violent and I saw pure evil inside of him. Yeah, I hope you stay away from him. Protect yourself. Why is it that the flying minion got more mad about me going no contact than the narcissist? Because sometimes the flying monkeys or the flying minions, they like drama. They like to be in between stuff like that. And when you go no contact, the drama typically ends. So they want they want to keep the drama going on. You mean? I love you, but no access. Yeah, you can love people. Yo, you don't have to hate people to move on from them. You can absolutely love them from a distance. You mean, I love, I I love you, but I'm happy I'm in North Carolina and you in California. Mm. No access. Quinesha, therapy can help you. Actually, therapy go to therapy can help regardless. Open, honest, genuine therapy. You mean, my narc is in therapy. I have noticed a great change. Is it too good to be true after 11 years of BS? So 11, you so. Regardless of whether, whether or not they go to therapy, how do you feel? You know what I mean? How much more time you are you willing to give this person to see if it's real or not? It's not going to it, I'll be real with you. It's not it's not going to be perfect regardless. You know what I mean mm -mm -mm. 40. I had 22 years and I'm feeling much better now. 22 years is a long time, I'm telling y'all. Do 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 do. Yeah, I got a lot of questions. I'm way behind. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Seriously. <clears throat> Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I'm going through here. Thank you for being supportive, articulate, and available. Well, I pre appreciate that. Thank you. Your videos have shown me I was never the whole problem. Thank you for saying the whole problem. Sometimes we have problematic behaviors that we don't want to address. But thank you. But yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Be careful. Stay safe. Mm -mm. I appreciate that, Broly. Power maximum. My, my narc ex-wife... Thanks, parent plan, just suggestion. Bro, he's, I've said that mm -mm -mm. my ex, my ex, my narc ex-wife thanks parent plan, just a suggestion. I've said that it's not acceptable in text on the record as this has become a pattern. Yeah, put this in, the, like, whatever you do with narcissistic people, put it onto the record, y'all. Make a record of it and things like that. Please make a record of it because if you make it, the more you make a record of it, the more, you know what I mean? You stand, like I said, it's 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 enforceable. In the courts, you know, mm, it, the courts are just dependent. Appreciate, appreciate it, though. So I would just go to a trauma-informed therapist or get on psychology today and go to narcissistic people. You may go to narcissist, uh, somebody who specializes in narcissistic personality disorder or talk to traits in general. Thank you for all you teach us. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Emily. How much time we got on her? Oh, 19 minutes. We got a few more minutes, y'all. Rapid fire, rapid fire. Lee. Y'all, y'all, we joking, y'all. I joke a lot. Seriously. You have me not me flat. I joke a lot. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, I'm funny. He's mad I won't allow him to visit me. Them days are over. He's still lying and got new supply. Yeah. I'm just saying, y'all want them to, y'all, I'm just telling y'all, I want them. Let them go. Release, release them into the wild. You know what I mean? Y'all have like free, free Willie. Y'all remember y'all seen the movie Free Willie? Like when the little boy was on it, like when he was trying to help Willie escape, and Willie jumped over him, and then Michael Jackson started playing in the background. Like do do 
do, 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 do. This is your this is your free willy moment. Release them into the wild. Let them jump over you, sprinkle you with some water, and then you just wave goodbye. Hold me like the river Jordan. <laughs> I will be there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Free Willy. <laughs> Do narcissists stick to the same pattern normally? Typically, the patterns the patterns are going to change depending on who they're dealing with. The patterns still exist, but they make subtle changes to the pattern depending on who they're dealing with. Because everybody else that we are dealing with is not going to be the same. You see what I'm saying? If I deal, I can't deal with you the exact same way I deal with my ex because y'all might have different personalities. Jessica, what's going on? Francis, what's going on, lady? How you doing? Mm -mm. Hold me. Mm -mm. Hey, what's going on? Mm -mm. The second of this month, it turned physical for the first time. We've been together for eight years. Uh oh, the rage, I'm telling you, the rage gets worse, y'all. The rage gets worse. Mm -mm. Appreciate that, y'all. I ask myself why I keep responding. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe you have some things, some tra some traumatic issues that you need to deal with yourself. You know what I mean? Maybe that's it. My brother tries to guilt trip me for doing so much for my stepson that I live with and love and not giving the same effort to my blood nephews. Oh, yeah. If you, is your brother narcissistic? Yeah, compare and contrast. They're going to do that type of stuff, y'all. Make you feel guilty. Guilt trip. Get it, get in the car, honey. Hey, hey, bro, get in the car. We're going on the guilt trip. Mm -mm. Yo, 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 Y'all, tomorrow my uh tomorrow my uh my brand releases, y'all. Like, look, the brand is coming out tomorrow. Look, see, this is one of the let me move this. Let me move this. So this is one of the shirts that's coming out tomorrow, y'all. I'm worthy. Healing journey. Self look, the self-love brand I am is coming out tomorrow, Friday. This is one of the shirts. This is my one of my favorite right here, y'all. I'm worthy. It goes like this, y'all. Look, I love me. It's abbreviated. This is the abbreviation of I love me. It's I am. I'm worthy. It's about the healing journey. I'm worthy. I'm free. I'm strong. It's gonna be super fiery. I promise y'all. Um, he slapped my face while I was driving and said I talked too much, but he was grinning. Thoughts. Uh, sadistic person. He was grinning while he slapped you. You talked too much while you were driving. What are your thoughts? Imagine next time he, he balls his fist up and punches you while you're driving. Somehow I'm the bad person for saying don't stalk me. This is this is not comfortable and not good. Yeah, you, you, they're going to make you seem like you're the bad person all the time, y'all. That's just part of it. You know what I mean? Rosita, what's going on? How you doing? Hate the guilt trip. I'm telling you, this one's going to shirt. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He left his wife, moved with his new girlfriend in a home, and now do everything together. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It. He left his wife, moving with, yep, that's how they do it. They're going to love bomb the new supply. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hold me. Yeah, what if you got what if you got an accident from that right there, y'all? What if you got into an accident from that? If y'all haven't already, like I said, if you're in Austin, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Houston, Texas area, we're doing a live meet and greet in person. Y'all see across the bottom of the screen? I need to change that color. I have a blue shirt on. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize that. Y'all didn't tell me. Why y'all tell me? Uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So Austin, Texas meetup is coming um, October the 15th. Austin, Texas. Go to www.narcavengers.com across the bottom of the screen. Get registered for that, y'all. We're doing a private meet and greet meetup and stuff like that. We're we're going on we're going on the road, y'all. We're going we look. This is little yeah, literally, literally, we're going on a hill. It's a healing journey, literally. <laughs> I just thought about that. We're going on a healing journey for real. Mm -mm -mm. Hold me like the river Jordan. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to I'm trying to change my logo. I'm on here. Dun dun dun. Ding. Um, there you go. Y'all see my, I put the I am logo on the top now. Top not bit on a. Uh, see it right there now? That's the logo. <laughs> I like that. It's cool. Um, October 15th, Austin, Texas, y'all. 
<laughs> what did you say? This is going to stay in my head all day. Oh, yeah. Um, there's that smile. Yeah, I see. I have a new smile. See? My new smile. No more Gabby. No more Gabby Gabber. Gabby Gabberton. Are you always this nice? No. I'm not a, I'm all, not always this nice. I'll be kind of keep it real with y'all. What, what do I used to edit? What Michelle? How do you do the display on 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 uh, on here? Uh, it's a soft streaming software called Streamyard. Streamyard lets you put this stuff on here, y'all. I haven't been here in a while, but on a huge thank you. Can you talk about the need for silence in these relationships? Silence, like the silent treatment, or the need for silence? Like you know, to reiterate that a little bit. His mom is his enabler. She knows everything he does and blames it on his diabetes. So I did, this is how I describe the parents of narcissistic people. They are like, if the narcissist is the body, the parents are the arms and legs. They are connected, y'all. They are going to typically going to be their, their biggest enablers or flying monkeys in situations like this. They're connected. What happened? Obviously, them other females not working out because why keep calling me if you got some new women interested in you? Because he wants more than one. One person is not enough for a narcissistic person, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Got contacted by my son's school to come pick him up when my narcissistic ex-wife friend posted some videos of her drink. Oh, God. Bro, please, 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 for the love of God, document everything. Seriously. Yeah, no one is always this nice. Yeah, you're correct. That's correct. Dating since January had only met. I, I, I thought didn't I answer this earlier? I thought I answered this earlier. This is like red flaggy because it shouldn't take that long to meet the kids. That's why I asked about your mom. Oh, am I missing questions? I feel like these questions are repeating themselves. Mm -hmm. Oh, my, so my mom is not. So my mom is not my enabler, y'all. My mom will like I, I said this yesterday in my life. My mom will fight me. My mom does. My wife would call my mom and tell us some stuff I said there. My mom would call me and talk some shit to me. My mom was, she's not my enabler. My mom was like, now, Monty, she, she, my mom was like, my mom probably like five, seven, a buck, a buck 45, a buck 50. I'm six, three, two forty, And my mom would squirrel me and try to fight me if I was dis disrespectful to women in front of her. Uh, my mom was not my enabler. She will, she will square up on me <laughs> and try to beat my ass. She'll, she'll fight me. She will. And she's little, she's little, you know, she'll try to throw her hands with me. Um, <laughs> any in, any input on inviting a narcissist dad to my wedding or telling them about my engagement? My mom is his codependent, and she goes, "Oh God!" So, it do what do what makes you feel comfortable in this situation right here. You know I mean do what makes you feel comfortable in this situation right here? Honestly, um, because like if you don't want if it makes you feel comfortable to not have them at your wedding, don't invite them to your damn wedding. You know what I mean? Don't do that. Because that that'll mess that'll mess them up right there. You know what I mean? Don't like if you don't like today. To, at the end of the day, it's your wedding. Enough love from Jamaica. Lee. what's going on? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Like the river Jordan. Do 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 do. Uh, I've been eating today, y'all. Um, but yeah, y'all. As like I said, my brand goes live tomorrow, so I'm so I'm so excited about this, y'all. This is the, I don't think y'all understand how long I've been thinking about this brand, my my self love brand. I've had this in my head for like two years, and to see it coming to fruition now, my logo now, and this is like my actual first makeup of it. Like I'm worthy. Like I'm worthy. You're worthy of love. You're worthy. You're worthy of like self love, y'all. Self love is the best love. I'm telling you. Um, yeah, self love is the best love. But with my, um, like I said, if y'all in the Austin, Texas area, Austin, Texas, like look at the bottom, bottom of the screen, Austin, Texas, narcavengers.com, October 15th. I, did, I didn't miss this one. You could have put it right there. I didn't even miss that one. You could have put it right there. I could have read it. <laughs> the narc said I should have a PD, PhD in narc abuse. Yeah, use it. Use it. Thank you. I love your logo brand. Appreciate that. It's about, like I said, it's I love me. It sounds narcissistic. It sounds selfish, but it's it's kind of play on words. I love me. You know, you do love you. 
I'm worthy. So <laughs> see they they look. See wait, wait, stable. Yeah, there you go. Stable. See, there you go again. Y'all could have read it right there. Right there. <laughs> I'll keep a lookout for you, Dave. I'm about to have to eyeball for in a second, y'all. What to expect from the meet and greet in Austin? I've already signed up. So there's different sections of the meet and greet. We're we're actually doing one on ones in person. There's another section for um, the private Q and A event that was like going to be like survivors and you know coaches. I'll be there doing the private Q and A where people can ask questions. But like an hour and a half, two hours of just question and answers from survivors, from victims, from thrivers, from my supporters or whatever, asking questions not only to me, but to psychologists and therapists, other survivors, other coaches and things like that. And then there's the free part of it, the meet and greet from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. where everybody's going to come. I tell people I tell people to come to these meet and greets. Yeah, you can do the private Q&A. There's limited seating for that because I mean, we want we want to keep it small so people can ask, everybody at least get a chance to ask at least one question or two questions or whatever you may Um but the meet and greets are more, more about community than anything, y'all. Because, like, imagine, like, one of the tenets of being in a narcissistic relationship is being isolated from your friends and family or your support system. So you don't have a support system when you're dealing with narcissists and toxic people. Come to Austin, Texas on the 15th, and guess what? You can meet people in the same general area that you live in or that you're from or just online or whatever. You meet them in the same general area. They have similar shared experiences as you. You have a new support system of people who understand what you've been through. Because even if you have a support system in real life, they might not understand the dynamics of being in a toxic relationship with a narcissist. But guess who does? Somebody else who has been through a toxic relationship with a narcissist, a psychologist, a self-aware narcissist. I'll be there in person. Ben Taylor will be there. You mean so Austin, Texas? You know what I mean? Seriously, Austin, Texas, October 15th. Get registered right up here, narcavengers.com. Come through there, y'all. I'll be there. I'm but like literally one of my tabs I have open right now is me, me about to book my flight to go to Austin, Texas. And then uh December, November 19th will be in uh Toronto, Canada. So anyways, y'all, I, I have to have off here. I, I like to keep these, I like to keep these short and sweet. I do have to go get some get something to eat. Yeah, I just feel like I'm starving. You know what I mean? So uh Hello, I'm watching Gambia while I watch North Survivor UK videos, YouTube. Oh, Spiritual Whistleblower actually blocked me. Like somebody tagged me, somebody tagged me on her on TikTok with one of her posts or whatever. And I tried to click on it. She had blocked me. I've never engaged with her or whatever. So, but these there. I get blocked by people all the time I've never interacted with. Um, I just remember their name popping up. Like, oh, she blocked me. <laughs> um, is it overwhelming to have so many people want your advice? No. It's it's just growing bigger and bigger and bigger, y'all. It started off. It started off with a couple hundred people. Now it's a couple million. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, isn't it? But anyways, y'all, I'm going to uh, be posting this here in a little bit. Uh, Had to hop off here. It's 1:15 p.m. Um, thank y'all for tuning in. Like I said, I'll be live again tomorrow. I'm going live every single day, y'all. Just different times. Just be to turn on notifications. I'm going live every single day. Um, from now, YouTube told me I have to go live more. So I'm going to be live on YouTube and Facebook more often, y'all. Just, you know, I appreciate all the support. Be on the lookout tomorrow. If you haven't already, join my mailing list. Join my, uh, join the mailing list. Join the, the you know, because like the, the brand releases tomorrow, you will know all about it. You see, it's, it's in the corner right there. I am. Y'all see it. The, the logo matches up. <laughs> um, but seriously, like and subscribe for more. Austin, Texas, October 15th. Go and get registered up for that. Uh, and mental illness is out. Peace. Thank y'all. Scott Jackson, be safe, girl. Mm-mm.